Welcome back into Hillcat Basketball. Steve Braun alongside our featured athlete, Alex Ewings, a sophomore from Jinx, Oklahoma. Alex, thanks for joining me, man. Thanks, man. Thanks for having me. All right, you guys are 1-1 one one so far this season. Yes, sir. What are your thoughts so far? Um, I'm not worried. Uh, we just got a lot of more, lot, uh, more growing to do, uh, a few more things to learn. Um, you know, but um, we're looking better and better as the season go along. And um, like Coach says, you know, we're not too worried, you know, because we're just worried about peaking at the right time. I did hear Coach, after that ORU game Saturday night, say if we were playing at midseason form right now, we'd be in trouble. Do you kind of agree with that? Uh, Yeah, yeah, I do agree with that. Um, you know, we don't want to rush anything. Uh, just trying to figure out what everybody wants to do on the floor, um, where some people want the ball, and... Um, you know, just trying to get to know each other a little more. Like, not so much for for the returning players, but the, the new guys and stuff. You know, trying to figure out what they want to do, where they want the ball, and stuff. And uh, is it is it a big difference between you mentioned some of those new guys and and kind of where they want the ball or how they're going to get the ball to you? Is it different a lot from practice to when you get into an actual game? Uh, I mean, you, you you can go so far in practice to think, okay, he wants it here. But once you get that game yeah, once, and get a defense out there, it's different, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's very different, especially, you know, you're playing uh, some D1 teams. And, you know, they're a lot bigger, uh, some bigger than our guys. So, we can't actually, we can't really get them the ball sometimes where they want it. Sometimes we have to, you know, make adjustments mm-hmm. to the defense. So You mentioned playing some of those D1 schools. You guys lost to TCU by 17, but we're within four, with about 12 minutes to go. A game against ORU, you lose by 14, but it was a close game throughout. What is it like playing against some of those bigger schools? Um, I like it, and I'm sure um, the rest of the guys like it too because, you know, as everyone knows, we play in the SAC, which is one of the toughest country uh, conferences in the country. So it kind of just gets us ready, gets us prepared for what we're going to see. Uh, some of those teams, you know, you can compare to maybe a SNU or OBU, so, you know, uh, it's good playing against competition like that. All right, if you were doing the scouting report on yourself, what is if you had to outline what's the strongest part of your game, what would it say? Uh, uh, don't let him get the step step on you because he's going to the cup. Yeah. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I think coaches when they do the scouting report on myself, uh, they tell the players don't let me drive because that's what I want to do the most. I want to drive. I want to attack the rim. Drive and kick, get everybody else involved. Drive off the bounce, make a play. What's the weakest part of your game then? Um, weakest part of my game, I think um, I can work on my shooting a little more. Uh, you know, uh, once I get the shooting down, I, I mean, I, I don't, th- I really don't think you know the coaches they can tell that players too many ways to guard me because I can go off the bounce, but you know if, if players let me shoot the ball and you know uh, I'm hitting that then it's going to be a problem. You're kind of a defensive guy I mean you're a physical guy got good size is that something that you pride yourself on is creating havoc on the defensive end? Yeah 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 uh, I really take pride in my defense you know um, defense I, I like to think that you know defense leads to offense you know uh, I could really care less about how much I score uh, as long as I'm getting it done on the defensive end, you know, uh, I'm going to do whatever it takes uh, for us to win. If the coach tells me, hey, go out there, don't shoot one shot, but I, I don't want your man to score once, and you know, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, I, I'm, re- I'm really big on that, uh, you know, because, you know, as we all know, defense wins games. You know, we got enough offensive players around, but, you know, who's going to be the one to get the stops? Who's going to be the one to dive on the floor, uh, create havoc on the ball? How much does that make you a better player defensively when you do have those offensive threats playing playing against you in practice? Um, I mean, you got different types of players too. I mean, a guy like Deverick that he can get it to the rack. He's kind of yeah. a bigger guy, and then you have a guy like Chris that can can get you from outside. Yeah, uh, I get a piece of all those guys. Um, it's pretty tough, you know. You got Deverick; he's a big body. Um, you gotta, you really gotta know how to uh, really gotta know how to guard him because he can. He can score in many uh, bunch, of, many types of ways. Uh, he can take you off the bounce. He can, he can shoot it. So it just kind of prepares me for, uh, prepares me, for, you know, for, for other players. And you got Chris. You know, Chris, 
when you guard him, you better be prepared to get bumped into a lot of screens. He's going to come off a lot of screens. So, I mean, uh, all of it really is just helping me. All right, fun question to wrap things up. If you had a daughter, I know I asked you this last year, if you had a daughter that could date one of the guys on the team, which guy are you letting her date? Oh, it's still, my answer is still the same, uh, Matt Kellogg. Matt Kellogg? Matt Kellogg. All right, Alex, thanks for joining me. Thank you. That's Alex Ewing, a sophomore from Jinx, Oklahoma. Have more Hillcat basketball right here on RSU Radio 91.3 FM.